Hello, I'm Bracken from Sell Make It. And I'm James from Sell Make It, the Southampton Makerspace Project. And this is Acetone Vapor Smoothing of 3D Printed Parts. James and I have been working on this. So here we've got a Arduino and Ramps, which is RepTrap Arduino Mega Pauling Shield. Sounds good. It thinks it's a printer, but it's actually just a heated bed. And we're going to use this to heat up either a glass jar, which is hiding, or a metal tin to do our smoothing. Great, and what we're going to do is produce acetone vapour to dissolve the surface of ABS 3D printed parts to make them nice and smooth. That's the plan. So we've been doing soldering. Excellent. So what have we got on the bench? That's the heated, uh, heated pad. We've got acetone and we've also got a container to put the acetone in and a glass jar and the 3D printed parts in ABS. It doesn't work with PLA. So we've seen online that the worst case scenario is a little bit of a fire on top of your jar. I've got some problems with that and it's that they didn't have a good ratio of oxygen in the container. So we're going to put a couple of drips of acetone into the jar, give it a bit of a shake and then use this blow lamp to try and light it. So we'll see what the worst case really is. Too much fuel. That's as fast as it's going to burn. All right. Pretty pleasant then? Yeah. Well, that was kind of disappointing. <laughs> All right, safety goggles on. Or if it doesn't work, then it, the webcam command for you. And so we've got the heater on to 120 degrees to keep the pot nice and warm so we can get some acetone vapor. The pad is 100 and it says 37. 102, 102 on, the on the pad, on the heated pad and a metal jar and a piece of wood to put the ABS print on so it doesn't just dissolve in acetone. So and we can't measure in here because it's too shiny. That's 8 degrees. But it isn't. It's about higher than that. It's higher than 8. Right. Acetone. A tiny drip. I've read that, well I've heard that it takes quite a lot of the stuff to get the vapour cloud going, especially right. once you first put the part in. Okay. So hopefully we should see the vapour cloud as a sort of a distinct dif difference on the wall here. That's what I've okay. seen in some of the online videos. So we think we can see a vapour cloud of acetone just above the surface. Um, it's going to be quite hard to film. I don't think you can see it at all. And we've also dried the piece of wood off so there's not acetone on the top surface. So let's place in... Should we try this one? Let's stick the horse in. The here. horse. <laughs> It's definitely warm in there. <laughs> the yeah, the tail's got some really nice highlights on it that we can watch for in the effect. Yep. <laughs> it's quite a coarse print, so that's a 0.4 mil layer height with a half mil nozzle, which is the coarsest my printer would go. This is going to be like watching paint dry. So we put a lid on to try and keep the vapour in, although acetone vapour should sink. But um, having done so, um, we put in another piece. The super lamb banana. Stuff is happening. The uh, red piece had lots of hairs on which have now melted away. So we'll just leave that for a few more minutes and then we'll have a closer look at them hopefully. So whether you can see that or not, things are getting more shiny and um, the highlights on certain parts on the layers are getting less detailed and you can see the acetone boiling in the bottom there. Um, it appears that the hooves of the horse and the, well, basically the parts on the wood are actually um, kind of wet so it's probably going to dissolve and they're going to sink a bit but um, obviously that's the purpose of dissolving the surface. Yeah the wood is a bad choice of thing to stand them on. Hopefully the uh, horse doesn't fall in the drink. So we can see a distinct edge just north of the red superland banana here, that rim around the edge of the uh, container. That's where the acetone vapour cloud's reaching. Parts are looking okay. smooth. Yeah. 
about to say it. We're getting there. Smooth and shiny. So that's not Right, so we're gonna try and get the parts out somehow. Bracken's going to put his hands in and lift the wood out with both pieces on without tipping them into the acetone. That's the plan. It's really hot in there. It will be about 100 degrees. Oh, it's cold out here. <laughs> acetone on the hands. So, this is problematic. Also, don't mix your um, red prints with your whites, they do run. You want scissors? I've got to stand in that. Better than that. That's all. That literally has done over and over. That's because he's the wrong tool. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Smells yeah. like ABS as well. Well, those are definitely shiny and smooth. I'm not sure if we've got rid of all the details on the horse, and it's not so good higher up because the acetone vapour didn't rise so far. But this one's definitely good. This one did start Super with a, shiny. Uh, a narrower layer height, so this was uh, 250 so microns. Right. So the horse isn't still not too bad. Yeah, it's definitely glossy all over. And it's got pink feet. And pink feet. So we're going to try and get this uh, off the wood now, but it seems to be quite stuck. So wood definitely wasn't a good choice. Away. <laughs> That's going to be kind of. No, no, there we go. Chris, was this yours? This would have cost a small penny. It's definitely dissolved the feet, hasn't it? Did you manage to do it? Because it's an angle. Conscious of touching yours. I guess it's tacky all over as well. So Yeah, I just touched the back a bit and my finger sunk in, but it's pushed <laughs> out again. So you can't touch these when they're wet. There we go. There we go. Now horse can go back in. Okay. Tear it off the card later. Definitely glossy. We're told that they're going to keep smoothing for a while when we take them out. I guess there's still wet acetone all over them, so... Alright, let's put the horse back in and give that a few more minutes or whatever. And so far, how long have they been in there, do we think? Well, we'll put them in at 20 past 9. <laughs> it's now 20 past 10. So, so they've been hour. in about an hour. Okay. And a 0.4 millimetre layer height apparently needs more than that. It may just destroy all of the surface detail completely though. By the time yeah, I think the uh, ears will probably be gone by then. <laughs> by the time it's dissolved yeah. everything and made it smooth. Right, so the heated bed is still on. So I guess you want to start with the finest print you can do really. Uh, I've seen some good results at 250 micron before. Yeah. And I think that's going to come out alright. So, so here's the finished product. We've got the red lambanana with a 250 micron layer height come out nice and smooth after one hour. We are now an hour and a half in. And the 0.4 millimeter layer height, 400 micron horse is not quite flat. It might do it while the remaining acetone um, evaporates away. We've been told that it continues to work after you take them out for a while. Uh, with the lid, we found that the lid's good for getting the uh, vapor cloud up, but if you leave it on, the acetone tends to boil on the parts and leave bubbles like these holes in the top of my part. Or the, there's a few down here you can't really pick up on the video. Uh, don't use wood, it's just stupid. Capillary actions the acetone up and melts the feet and it's hard to get them bits off. Uh, use separate pieces for, or separate stands for pieces you want to take out separately because we had to uh, cut mine off the wood and it's done a bit of damage. It would be better to leave it on as it's setting. And uh, put extra top solid layers on because this hole actually goes through to the interior of the part and it just started growing. So, that was acetone vapour smoothing of 3D printed parts. From So Make It.
what's on camera. So I will take it. Yeah, we're doing the uh, intro last. <laughs> Hello, I'm Bracken. I'm James. We're from So Make It, the Southampton Makers. Come on, Chris! Why are we waiting for you? Sorry. <laughs> do you need to do another cut because this yeah. is going to be yeah, ridiculous? Really <laughs> Talking, do, do, you to, do you want to start with the logo up close or anything? No. 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 no, no. <laughs> Hello, I'm Bracken from So Make It. And, and I'm James from So Make It. What are we going to say? <laughs> <laughs> say So yeah. Make It, the Southampton makerspace. Yeah, cool. All yeah. right. Hello, this is Bracken from So Make It. And James from So Make It. This is Sa the Southampton. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to say that, are you? I was going to say. You can say Hi, I'm Bracken, <laughs> and I'm James, and we're Take from So Make It. It's easy when you, yeah. only one person has to do it. Right, yeah. anyway, we'll do it that way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bracken. So, who's going to say that? <laughs> <laughs>